Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to transplant this ficus bonsai. The top part of this is a ficus. The bottom part, the rootstock, is a Jensen um, rootstock that has been grafted together. And I'm going to transplant this little bonsai into this larger bonsai pot, giving it a lot more room to grow and thrive. Um, this pot that I'm going to plant it in is a concrete bonsai pot that I make myself and I have a video on my YouTube channel on how I make these pots. Um, this one here, I put um, terracotta concrete dye into the mix when I made this pot. And there's two large drain drainage holes in these pots. so. To keep the soil from washing out I just cut a small piece of normal window screen that goes over top of those holes to keep the soil from washing out so the first thing I'm going to do is take this tree out of its training pot and take my tool and just start easily loosening the soil from away from the roots. At this point, I'm just combing the soil away from the roots and also combing the roots down straight. The roots look very healthy. I don't see any signs of any rot or any other kinds of problems. Alright, I think that's good enough. I could, if I wanted to, I could take this outside and hose it off with the garden hose, but in all honesty, this is a good soil that it was grown in. It's not necessarily bonsai soil, but there is a lot of lava rock that was inside there, so I don't see any reason why I need to wash all these roots out completely, but you could do that if you wanted to. Just taking a look at what we have. Next thing I'm going to do is just add some of my new bonsai soil and 
this soil that I use for most of my bonsai trees is made up of 50% turfus, which is a baked clay, which gives you a lot of aeration in your soil, and 50% composted mulch, which gives you you which gives you your water retention in your soil. So a uh, soil mixture like this prevents root rot in our bonsai trees, which is a big problem. Probably more bonsai trees die from root rot than any other uh, cause. It is mainly because of using the wrong soil. So using a, a good bonsai soil like this mix will prevent that. front of the tree is going to be the side that you're looking at now. So I have a little bit of a, a mound in this pot and I'm going to just spread the roots out more or less evenly in the soil. I'm going to go down just a little bit. out to there and then I'll add more soil take a tool and just poke around make sure that there's no air pockets around the roots I think that looks really good. I'm going to give you a 360 degree view of the tree. And the only other thing I'm going to do is give this tree a good watering, wet all the soil will really well, 
and then I will put it back into its partial sun location that it typically grows in. And there it is. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Um, if you would, please uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button so this information can get out to more people with YouTube's algorithm. And until the next video, I hope you have a great day.